So my plane is taking off from Africa and I fall asleep. And when I wake up, I look out my window and down below is this vast expanse of red. And I'm slightly disoriented because I just woke up and I'm, for a moment it just seems like, my God, what have we broken out of Earth's orbit and we're flying over Mars? Because it felt like it was such an alien landscape. And I'm just watching out the window, looking at this vast desert that just doesn't end. It went on and on and on. And a thought comes into me that was really clear. Like, like a, an ancient prophecy was being told to me, is that someday the rains will come back to Northern Africa when there is enough love in the world, but not before. Our love, learned how to channel this together is the way in which God can affect the living environment of our planet. That Sahara Desert will be, I know it will be, I may not live to see it, but it will be blooming again, that desert that was below me, when there's enough love. When there's enough love, we will be able to affect the physical environment as God's graces pours through us and we create, not heaven, because heaven is beyond anything but an expression of heaven. That's our job. That's what we were put here for. You'll be motivated to, to spread more love through your life. You may not be able to control the whole world coming together. You may not be able to control uh, so much of people around you coming together. You can be an instrument of that, you can pay a price for that, but you're willing to do it because that's what Jesus did for us and is the way in which we make things better. There's a power in Never forget that.